<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome back to the channel. Okay, um, so um, my last video went up yesterday. I thought I would create one now. Um, so roughly about the same time as, as before. Um, I'm glad I'm getting some more views on the channel. This is really good. Um, I just want to everyone to be able to see the teeny videos um, and just like enjoy them. So uh, today's class, um, I'm actually going to do a quick video on the 20 English idioms that everyone should know. So these are um, idioms or we call phrases that actually, um, if if like just sort of typical British um, English, like these um, idioms will come up in post conversations and ones that everyone should know. So let's have a look down. Um, so basically, native English speakers love using them in conversation and you'll often find them popping up on books, TV shows and movies too. To perfect your English, you really need to become confident in using idioms and knowing the difference um, between breaking a leg and pulling someone's leg. Idiom there. Yeah, breaking leg and pulling someone's leg. Okay, so here are 20 English idioms that everyone should know. Let's do it. So we have under the weather. So what does this mean? It means um, to feel unwell. Um, I could say, I feel under the weather and I feel unwell. So how do you use it? What do you think? Um, basically, um, in England, we love to talk about the weather and we'll do so often. Uh, don't be surprised or fooled by this common phrase. If someone says they're feeling under the weather, your response should be, I hope you feel better soon. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? Now, actually, that last bit we don't hear very often, but we definitely hear the part where we say, I hope you feel better. Okay, so next uh, idiom that everyone should know is the ball is in your court. What does this mean? What do you think? Dun! Okay, it means it's up to you. Okay, how do you use it? All right, means it's your move now, but this idiom refers to life rather than a sport. If you've got the ball, the decision is yours, and someone is waiting for your decision. Okay, now next one, I always think of food when I hear this one, actually. It's called spilled the beans. Now, now when you hear this, it's not actually spilling the beans. But what does this mean? Hmm... It means to give away a secret. How do you use it? If you told someone about their own surprise party, you'd have to spill the beans or even let the cat out of the bag. The secret is out. Okay. Nice. So did you spot that one there? The, the next phrase was let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, very good. Okay. Next one we have is break a leg. What does it mean? To wish someone luck. How do you use it? This idiom is not at all threatening. Often um, accompanied by a thumbs up. Break a leg is an encouraging cheer of good luck. It originates from when successful theatre performers would bow so many times after show. They would break a leg. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Pull someone's leg. What does it mean? To play a practical joke. How do you use it? It's just the perfect time or the perfect phrase to learn if you're a fan of practical jokes. So pull their leg is similar to wind someone up. Use it in a context. We could also say, relax, I'm just pulling your leg. Or wait. Are you pulling my leg? Okay, so how are we doing with those? Okay, so um, I do put uh, actually word subtitles on the video. So if there's any you're not sure of or need to have um, a look at, um, after the video or join it, uh, the words are 
put up there. So, um, but yeah, feel free to pop anything in the comments, um, anything that you're not sure of, any questions, I'll get back to you. Okay, so we have another one, uh, which is called sat on the fence. This means to be undecided. How do you use it in British language? Okay, if you're sat on the fence, or if you're sitting on the fence, politically correct, um, you've not decided which side of an argument you agree with. I'm on the fence about hot yoga classes. Uh, translates at, I'm not sure whether I enjoy yoga in a sauna yet. Okay, the roof thick and thin. What does it mean? To be loyal no matter what. Okay, so this is often used to describe families or best friends forever. Okay, the abbreviation is BFF. Okay, uh, through thick and thin means you're by each other's sides no matter what happens. Through the bad times as well as the good. Once in the blue moon, what does this mean? It means really rarely. Yeah, not very often at all. How do you use it? So this phrase is used to describe something that doesn't happen often. You know, example, I remember to call my parents for my study abroad trip. Once in a blue moon, so they don't call very often. Okay, yeah, number nine, the next one is actually really common, widely used. Okay, the idiom is, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Yep, what does it mean? It's really, really good. Thumbs up. How do you use it? Okay, sliced bread must have really revolutionised um, life in England. Because basically, it is the benchmark of things that are great. Yeah, so basically, if we think of tea, which is another good one, we love it almost as much as tea. What else do we like? British love, an English breakfast, an afternoon tea, Sunday lunch, or oh, love a good curry. Yeah, me? Um, I like those things, but I am I love to try new things to travel, so um, I don't know. I support my horizons, but yeah, generally, I do love um, a good afternoon tea and a roast dinner. Totally. Okay, so next one, let's move on to take it with a pinch of salt. What does it mean? Don't take it too seriously. No. How do you use it? Well, I heard that elephants can fly now. Sam often makes up stories, so I take everything he says with a pinch of salt. Okay, so Come rain or shine. Next one. What does it mean? It means no matter what. And how do you use it? So you basically, you're guaranteed to do something regardless of the weather or any other situation which might arise. It could be, I'll be at your football game, but come rain or shine. So yeah, no matter what. Yay, moving on. So, uh, go down in flames. This means the phrase is fairly obvious because I went down the flames. So, it's kind of negative. It's an unfortunate idiom. Right, so, okay, 13. All right, so next word. You can say that again. Okay, this means that's true. How do you use it? Generally exchanged in agreement when a friend says Ryan Reynolds is gorgeous, you can reply, you can say that again. So they agree with you. Okay, next one. See eye to eye. This means um, to completely agree with you. So we, um, we're not suggesting a stone contest. See eye to eye with someone is basically to agree with them at, at the point making so. All right, 15, we're getting there. Jump on the bandwagon. This means following a friend. 
So basically, join in with your friend if we're doing something popular. Uh, because it's cool. Cool is another classic British phrase there. Cool means pretty good. Um, so, um, yeah, so she could say she's jumping on the bandwagon with a friend. 16. So, next word is as wide as rain. This means perfect. Are we, how would we use it? This is a weather based idiom, but one that is slightly trickier. We moan about the rain, but right is rain is actually a positive comment. Okay, as I'm right as rain, this may be um, exclaimed with glee when asking if everything is okay. 17. Beat around the bush. This means avoid saying too many things. Or, you know, it's basically when someone is um, talking a load of sort of nonsense, but they're avoiding the, the question, avoiding saying what they actually have to say, but saying, talking around and saying something that is convenient to say instead. But because they're not really telling you the truth, more like so, yeah. So next one, <clears throat> hit the sack. So basically this idiom means go to bed. So that's pretty, this is a really good one to learn. Hit the sack means go to bed. That's about it. Nice, so, day 19, miss the boat. Miss the boat means it is too late. So you use this when you let an opportunity or deadline pass by. Okay, we could say, I've missed the boat now. And the last one, 20. Okay, by the skin of your teeth. What does it mean? Ah, uh, just barely. So, for example, I pass this, this exam by the skin of my teeth. Hopefully, you'll do better, but, um, yeah, maybe next time. Okay, so, those were... 20 English idioms that everyone um, needs to know or should know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so, say, if you have any questions um, about uh, what, what, what we've been doing today, just pop them in the comment section below and I'll go back to you. Any comments about the video? What would you like to see in upcoming classes or upcoming lessons? Um, let me know as well. That will be really, really good. Um, yeah, any tips, any pointers, um, you know, anything at all really. Um, yeah, just still let us know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. There is many more coming this way. So I'll see you again on the next video. All right, and don't forget to hit subscribe and like the channel. Yay! See you in a bit.